Hello everybody, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Minecraft Java resource pack in 2025. So, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is open up your Minecraft launcher. Now, the reason you wanna do this is to get the files for the resource pack. So, here we have Minecraft 1.0.4. And what you want to do here is make sure you have downloaded the version that you want to edit of the resource pack. So for example, if you want a 1.21.4 resource pack, you'll click play, it will download all the required files for that version, including the resource pack. So please be aware of that, make sure you have played this version at least once and closed it, and you should be all good. So all you want to do here is once you did this, you can go to your installations tab here, and you can hover over one of the releases and go to the folder icon. From there, all you want to do here is scroll down and you want to find versions. So this will be Minecraft Java versions. From there, all you want to do is double click it and you'll see a bunch of installed versions. If you play the game for a while, you will have a lot of them here. And basically what you want to do here is find the one that you want. So for example, if I want 1.21.4, what I'll just do is just find the 1.21.4 folder and copy it. From there, all you want to do is go to downloads and you want to paste it. Okay, and from there, what you want to do is actually open up the folder and you'll see two files here. So the one that you're actually interested in is the 1.21.4 jar. So with this, all you want to do is select and copy it and you want to go to downloads and paste it. Now, you don't need to be in download specifically, you just want it to be nice and easy to edit. So try to find somewhere where you don't have all the files everywhere just to make it nice and easy for you. Okay, once you have this, what you want to do is select and delete the folder for that and now you just have the jar. From there, what you want to do is select and rename the .jar here. If you can't see .jar and just see 1.4, go to view, show, and file name extensions. This will show up .jar. Okay, so once you see .jar, just replace jar with zip, enter, and it will tell you do you want to rename? Do yes, and you now have a zip. So all you want to do here is simply go ahead and extract the zip and there is a lot to extract so you just want to right click it and it's going to tell you extract all or extract here or if you're using something like 7-zip or winwar you can use their methods to go a bit faster but I'll just use extract all here with windows and you want to click extract so now it is just extracting everything and it'll take a while so you will have to be aware of that it will take a while so while this is doing its thing, what we will be doing is actually preparing two files. The first thing is a picture. Now, there is many ways to get a picture, but you need a picture for the pack. It doesn't come with it. So what you want to do here is simply go ahead and get yourself something like a photo editor. So we can go ahead and go to my computer. We have paint.net, for example. I will have this in the description, but you want something like paint.net or Canva, anything. You want to be able to have a picture. So. The picture that you want is a square picture and you want to go to file, no, and you want to choose its width. It doesn't really matter, but in this case we'll just do 1080 and 1080. The only thing that matters here is really that the pixels do match. And if they do here, just do okay. And now we have a square image. So all you want to do here is do a picture for your pack. So I won't do anything really professional here. But I'll just add some shapes and we'll be able to go ahead and add this to our pack and we will see that we will have a different picture for the pack because we do need a picture for our pack. So here we have some pictures for the pack, here it is. And all you want to do here is simply go ahead and go to file, save as, and untitle the PNG we'll be able to change that, but you just want to do save. Here we have a preview, we just do okay, and we close our paint.net. So 
now all we have to do here is just reload and we'll see our untitled.png and what this has to be called is pack.png so we just do rename and pack.png and there you go so that is what we need to do okay so once we have this we actually want to prepare an other file which is the packs.mc meta so what you have to do here is just right click and new text document and you want to name it to pack and keep it to txt we will just uh, edit the rest after so now we have a pack.txt and pack.png and what you want to do here is go to pack.txt and from there you want to do the following so you want to do a curly bracket then you want to enter you want to tab in then you want to do comma pack and comma two dots you want to space curly bracket then you want to enter again tab tab twice of course you want to do comma pack format and you will do two dots and dot again and here we are doing on the 1.21.4 so it is 46 but if you want to go through this you can always go on 1.21.4 minecraft and you can see this minecraft.net here this is the change logs and if you scroll down to the bottom it will tell you the different changes for the pack so you will see resource pack from 43 to 46 so it changed to 46 so that's how we know that either way once you're here what you want to do is do a comma then you want to tab again one two then you want to do description the description and then this will just be kind of like the name of the pack but not really so two dots and you can call it anything so i'll just call it test pack and comma and enter you want to tab in you want to do a curly bracket to close and you want to do a curly bracket to close here so that's how it should look now it is a bit weird the formatting but it does kind of work so we just keep it like that and all you want to do here is just save it so save save and now if we go in it just tells us that it looks like this now so all you want to do from now is simply go ahead and rename the txt to mc meta so mc meta and from there we can just do yes and now we have a pack.mc meta so just like so so now we're done with that so we can just go ahead and close that and we just need to wait for the completion of the extraction of the uh, jar file okay so once you're done all you want to do here is simply go and delete the old zip to keep everything clean and now you have these files here so all you want to do here is simply go ahead and go to the 1.4 here and you should see something called assets so all you want to do is select and copy assets and go to downloads and paste in it here so now what we're doing we're just copying the unzipped 1.4 we're taking the assets folder and we're bringing it right here okay so here we now have assets here and you can now delete the old folder and it can take a while of course okay and once you're done we'll need to edit something in there just to show that it works so if we go to assets you can double click it and from there you can go to minecraft and you can look it up basically but there's different textures in different folders so if we want to edit like a diamond block for example so we'll go to textures then we'll go to block then we'll go ahead and find diamond so it is d so diamond 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 there is quite a lot of box and items as well okay we're almost there so that it should be it should be here somewhere diamond block right here so that's diamond block here if i double click it we have the texture of the diamond block 
So all you want to do here is just right click and you want to open with paint.net or something. Of course you can use Canva to space it back, there's a lot of ways of doing this. But just for the sake of it, I'll just make it black and white. Now we have it black and white, it looks like this now. And if I go and save it as, it will tell us that I am replacing it, I just do yes, okay, and close. From there, we see that if we check our diamond block again, so it, we need to reload, and here it is as a new one, we see that it is now changed. Okay, so all we have to do here is simply go to downloads and from there you need to go ahead and zip all this together. So to do this you just select everything and you do zip. So you need to compress to zip and one thing that you can do is delete unused files. So if you don't edit something you can delete it from the assets and only keep the edited ones that will override the non-edited ones but just for this one I just unzip everything, but if you do want to have smaller packs, you can delete files that you did not touch. So please be aware of that, but in this case, this is just showing how to do it. So here we have our pack.zip, this is our pack. So if we go in, we have our pack, and if we check the files, this is how it looks, the picture, this is how it looks, and we have this as well. So. All we have to do here is just go to the Minecraft launcher and from there we can go ahead and play our version that we just extracted and we can go ahead and add the pack to Minecraft and start using our pack. Now we just have a black and white diamond block but that's still good enough. So if we go ahead and go to single player and tutorials, now of course you can go to a server or a realm, this is really client side. Okay. So here we are in a world and to add the new resource pack, we just go to escape, options, resource packs, and from there all you want to do is go to open pack folder and all you want to do here is just go to downloads, you want to select and copy pack.zip and go back to the previous folder. Now you just paste. So what we did, we pasted our pack to resource packs here, that's the zip one I just showed earlier, it's this one. So if we go to Minecraft, we see pack.zip, we have a picture, we have test pack, everything worked. And if we go here, it puts in selected and we just do done. And now we have our pack selected. So the change we did was a black and white diamond block. So if we go ahead and check out the diamond blocks, we just give us a diamond blocks and look at this. So we now have black and white diamond blocks. So yeah. That is how we edit and you can change the textures and everything, the quality, the colors and everything. This is just a simple way of just showing that this is how we change the textures and make a pack. So yeah, that is how we create a Minecraft Java resource pack. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye!